a broken tradition. That committee has initiated. It has been pouring rain. <laughs> Determination to cement further our relations with the people of Sierra Leone. Only this past Saturday did we dedicate a statue to those who struggled for freedom and justice that characterized the Abnazad captives. I would like to introduce the mayor of our city, the Honorable John DeStefano. Good morning. Uh, today we celebrate a relationship that in many respects is unique in our nation and in our history this relationship between the people of Sierra Leone and the city of New Haven. It is a relationship that not only existed in a time, but has existed over time. That is to say, it's not just a commemoration of, a rela of an incident that occurred in this nation in 1839, but that has also had life and vitality breathed into it through this day. Through the Amistad Committee, who has done such a wonderful job in acknowledging this part of our mutual history. Uh, it, it is an outstanding citizen-based effort uh, that has just dignified both of our countries. And I would also say this, I, I, I'd say an amazing three or four days in New Haven as we think about what kind of community we are. On Saturday, with the dedication of the Connecticut 29th Memorial, also designed by Ed Hamilton, who did the Amistad uh, statue behind me. Uh, also, yesterday, when the Ecuadorian government opened two consulates in America, one in Queens and the Connecticut consulate here in New Haven, just down the other end of Church Street, really in a tradition of openness and receptivity <coughs> and brotherhood that has exemplified this city over its, uh, over its existence. So today is not just of an acknowledgement of this relationship between these two places, but also a set of values of justice and fairness and consideration for one another. Those are important values internationally, nationally, and here on Church Street. Reach down deep and see the things that bind us together and make us the same. We all make so much richer. So we're so glad to have this delegation from Sierra Leone here today uh, during Freedom Trail Month here in the state of Connecticut. I particularly also want to acknowledge Lieutenant Governor Fidelity who is here today. Governor, on behalf of Governor Rell and the state, we're so delighted to have you uh, have you here uh, here with us. This is a good day. Uh, Mr. Kinnard, I'd just like to present you with a resolution marking this, uh, this event. Again, thank you.
pleased and honored to have the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Connecticut, Michael Fidel. Good morning. It is a, indeed a pleasure and honor to be here uh, to welcome everyone, to welcome our friends and visitors from Sierra Leone, Mary DiStefano. Sierra Leone has had a long relationship, clearly one that was not marked in a very favorable fashion in the 1800s, but one that through the years, through the descendants and folks who originally came to Connecticut and here to New Haven on the Amistad has grown, one that has integrated your families, who you are, into the fabric of what makes not only this state, but this nation, one that is incredible. The ability to bring our cultures, to be able to integrate and be part of this great country. And I know a little bit about uh, immigration. I did immigrate here when I was at the age of three, uh, clearly not the same way many of your descendants did. But I understood the value in my family, the value of being part of this great nation and this great country to be here, to be able to establish our roots, to provide for our families, and to be part of this great nation. Uh, to the 29th, I had the uh, pleasure of uh, honoring them uh, last summer uh, in Danbury at a ceremony. Uh, here is a regiment of, of individuals from color of who we were, where we came from. So again, thank you to the 29th for your service during that uh, tumultuous time in our history as a country. And also welcome again to um, the Honorable Mr. Canoe. I have a official statement from Governor Rell here that I'd, I'd like to read briefly. Um, on behalf of the state of Connecticut, I and Jody Rell, Governor, take great pleasure in welcoming, a tremendous honor to welcome you to Connecticut and to recognize the historic relationship between our state and your country, which are connected to the Amistad Revolt, subsequent capture and trial of the Capitals. I commend your commitment to efforts to reduce poverty throughout the world and to a lasting and continuous bond between Connecticut and Sierra Leone. Your dedication, leadership, and tireless efforts are an inspiration for all of Connecticut's residents and are a testament to your determination and efforts to fight corruption in your country and govern fairly. You are a highly distinguished representative of Sierra Leone and it is an honor to join the community of New Haven in recognizing and honoring your visit to commemorate the Amistad incident and the abolishment movement. Therefore, I am Jody Rell, Governor of the State of Connecticut, and hereby officially proclaim President Ernest by Paroma to be paid in honor, in his honor proclaimed September 23rd, 2008 as Sierra Leone Friendship Day in the State of Connecticut. everyone. It's an honor and a privilege to be here this morning as we welcome a great leader of the world to New Haven, Connecticut. I want to say that uh, I began my career with, my political career with actually Al Martyr and the Amistad story. When I first became a member of the Board of Aldermen, I learned from Al Martyr and Nathan Campbell, something that seemed they be sure. And they said, we have got to find a way to commemorate this great battle of New Haven to build this beautiful statue. And it's appropriate that the children are here today because children throughout our school system gave their pennies and their dimes and their dollars to help build this statue. But Al statue ought to be. And I said, well, where's that, Al? He says, well, right in front of City Hall. And I said, well, I don't know. I don't know whether or not this is something that the mayor at that particular time would want in front of City Hall. And he said, well, I expect you to do an ordinance that puts it there. And I said, okay, Al. <laughs> and we 
have the statue in front of our new city hall. So I've got to say, the history of freedom alive is because of the Amistad Committee and its leader, Al Martyr. Let's give him a hand. And it's very important that every year we remember about the struggle for freedom. It's not over in many places around the world. And uh, I want to commemorate them one more time for keeping that alive in our hearts. I have an official citation. It is from the General Assembly State of Connecticut, and it's introduced by the entire New Haven delegation, and I'm gonna read their names. Senator Martin M. Looney of the 11th District, Pat Representative Patricia A. Dillon of the 92nd District, Representative William R. Dyson of the 94th District, Representative Juan R. Candelaria of the 95th District, Representative Cameron C. Staples of the 96th District, Representative Tony E. Walker of the 93rd District, Representative Robert W. Megna of the 97th District. And it reads, Be it hereby known to all that the Connecticut General Assembly hereby offers its sincerest congratulations to Sierra Leone in recognition of your leadership of the Republic of Sierra Leone. The lessons learned by the historic relationship between Connecticut and the Amistad captives and their successful fight fight for freedom began the struggle against slavery and serves as a foundation for human rights for everyone. The entire membership extends its very best wishes on this memorable occasion and expresses hope for continued success given this 23rd day of September 2008. Donnie Williams Jr., President Pro Temper, James Amon, Speaker of the House, and Susan Weiselwitz, Secretary of the State. Welcome, sir, and I look forward to our long collaboration.